Welcome back to my channel. Um, tonight I'm going to be taking off my makeup and showing you my nighttime skincare routine. Um, again, I want you to know that this is what I love to do, trying out products. This is kind of an extra routine that you by no means need to use every single one of these products, but this is what I'm using right now. I try to switch up my routine um, every six weeks or so and try to keep it pretty consistent for that time period so that I can really see which products are working. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by just pulling my hair back. And as you can see, I have a full face of makeup on. So I'm gonna pull that back. And um, okay, I am gonna start by taking my makeup off. I always use a cleansing balm to start or a cleansing oil. Right now I've been using this I'm From Fig Cleansing Balm. All the products will be listed down below. I am enjoying this one. Um, the way you use a cleansing balm is you put some in your hand. I'm gonna warm it up a little. And then I'm just going to rub that onto my dry face, all over on my eyes. And you'll start to see my makeup coming off. Once I get to this point, then I'm gonna put a little bit of water on my hands, just a little bit, and I kind of rub it in even more and let it emulsify with the oil and the balm. And then I take a cloth, I love these face halos, and I get that wet and I just remove all, and you can see, all comes off. I love these face halos because they're really gentle, but they do a good job. Sometimes things that are just too, have too much slip to them, they don't really grip to your face as well. So I like how gentle this is, but it really, as you can see, just takes off all of the excess product. And I like that they're two-sided, so you have, you can get one side dirty and you've got the other one to use too. Okay, so that is the first step in my double cleanse. The second step is going to be another cleanser. And so this, I've been using this Holy Frog. This is their uh, Tashmu Water Lily Nourishing Milky Wash. It is a creamy consistency. I love that. I just have kept my face wet from the other. And I'm gonna go in and very gently massage this cleanser into my skin. Bring this one down into my neck too. And I'm going to remove that with the other side of the face halo. Okay, so use the dog in the background. I don't know why she's so worked up. I'm gonna remove that with this other clean side. And crazily enough, it's so interesting to me how, even though I think I've gotten everything off with that double cleanse, there's still be some little bits of makeup even after I've done that. So that's why I'm a big, big, big proponent of the double cleanse. You really need to do that because getting all of that off of your face is just critical for keeping your skin healthy. Okay, so my skin is now very, very clean. I just lightly, I don't even fully dry because I want some of that hydration for the next few steps. So I am a big believer in essence and toners, and the reason is because I kind of see it like if you have a dry sponge that you're working with, and then you try to put products in, they won't really seep into the sponge because it's so dry and crackly. But if I have a wet sponge, the products will seep in. So I see my skin like that. So I always start with this first essence. This is from Misha, it's their Time Revolution. So I just take a couple 
of drops of this into my palm and I just press that lightly into my skin and take it down the neck into the decollete. I love this first essence um, from, from Misha, the Time Revolution. It's my favorite one. I've tried a lot of them. This has some different fermenting agents in it that does, help, helps to exfoliate your skin as well very, very lightly. Um, then I always go in with a hydrating toner. As you can see, I'm almost done with this. This is the Keep Cool and Soothe um, Bamboo Toner. And this is just hydration. And I just pour some. It's really watery on my hand. And lightly put this all over my skin. This is safe enough to just put everywhere. So I love this product. Uh, a hydrating toner, I just think it's, if you have dry skin, it's just amazing. And then for more hydration, because I am that extra, and at night I really want my skin to plump up, I've been using this um, Hada Labo. This is their, um, it is their hyaluronic acid serum, but it's real thick, almost like a jelly. And I just put this again on top of the toner. It is thicker, it's a thicker, more dense, but it's really nice. I only use that one at night. The other two I use in the morning as well. But now my face is super hydrated and feels great. Um, okay, so I vary my routine every other night. So um, one night I will use my Curology, which is my prescription tretinoin. This is a combination of, I have the 0.14% tretinoin, I have some transexamic acid 5% and niacinamide 4%. So one night I will use this, and then the other night I like to use an acid. And what I've been using is this glycolic acid from Naturium. It's their resurfacing gel. 10% and I've been loving it. It has been a phenomenal product. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm just gonna do one small pump of that. And I just lightly rub that into my skin. And if you're new to acids, you might not want to take it down the neck, but I have tried this one and it is nice on my neck as well. And this is just going to help exfoliate my skin and your skin, you wake up and your skin just feels super um, soft and hydrated. I love it. So that's been a great product for me. Um, okay, so next I am big on pigmentation because that's where I have some issues is some hyperpigmentation. So I've been using this product from NIAD. It's their Repigment. And it's really been nice. I haven't finished it yet, so I can't tell you. I've always got something that I'm using. It's kind of a brownish color. It's very liquidy serum. I really put it on where I have my sunspots, but then I rub it in all over. It has a smell, if you've used this product, let me know, um, of a kind of like cuddle corn. It's an odd smell for a skin product, but I've been, I love Nyon products in general, and this has, has been good so far. So that is one that I've been trying out, but I always use some sort of pigment inhibitor at night, because that is something that I'm always struggling with. This has become a holy grail product. This is also from NIAD. This is their Survivor, Survival Zero product, and it is a really strong antioxidant, and it's kind of a brownie serum when it comes out. I use this every night, and what it does is just, it's like superfood for your skin. And it nourishes your skin, it feels so nice on the skin, but regardless of that, it's just going to kind of help with any damage that your skin has gone through the uh, whole day before, pollution, with sun damage. And I have been loving this product. This is my second bottle. I will never be without it. It is a, definitely a staple in my nighttime routine. Okay, and then the other product I've been trying lately, serum I've been trying, is from Misha as well. I've heard so many good things about this. 
This is their Time Revolution Night Repair Pro Bio Ampule. And this has probiotics. They say this is a dupe for, um, I'll show you what it looks like, um, for the Estee Lauder. If you ever use the Estee Lauder Night Serum, it has a nice smell. It's very hydrating and it's supposed to just kind of plump your skin, rejuvenate your skin with some probiotics. I've been enjoying it. I don't know that I've noticed a major difference. A lot of times with skincare, I'll tell you, it's not, I notice when I stop using it, if I really truly miss it. And, but I am really, I'm enjoying that this routine so far. Okay, um, for eyes at night, I like to use a retinol eye serum. And so I've been using this one from Colleen Rothschild, which is their retinol supreme eye serum. And I just do one small little pump and I just take it lightly here. And I even put it up here on my eye, get a little bit more. I find that the retinol eye serums are the only ones I like to use at night because I feel like I want them to be doing something. I'm going to pull my moisturizer and everything up there, but I want the retinol to be turning over those cells for me if it can. Okay, and then another critical product that I, is a holy grail for me is this combination from Stratia, and you can see I'm almost done with this. This is the Stratia Liquid Gold, which is basically essential fatty acids and um, cholesterol that helps to improve your moisture barrier. And then this is their Fortify Facial Oil, and this has wonderful sea buckthorn oil, a lot of great oils in it that are great for your moisture barrier. So what I do is I pump out some of the, and you can see it really is gold. And then I put one drop, one drop of the Fortify. And then I just put that all over my face and down the neck. And this will never not be in my routine because it has just been critical for protecting my moisture barrier. And if my skin is healing from something like a peel or a treatment, um, or if I've overdone, this is the combo that I love. So um, this is an amazing combo. So then lastly, I wanna seal everything in with my moisturizer. I have been loving this one from Iliun. It You can get it on Amazon. It is has ceramides and it's just a nice cream. It's thick enough to be very occlusive at night to hold all of my products in. However, it's also light enough that I don't feel like I have this thick amount of cream. And you can also use it anywhere. I'll put some, any excess on my elbows or any other dry patches you might have. But I love this moisturizer. And you get a big tub of it tube, sorry, big tube of it for, um, I think it's like $21 on Amazon and it is safe for sensitive skin. It has no fragrance. It does have these tiny little granules that kind of pop when you put them on your skin. Just leave your skin feeling perfect. So that is everything I do for my skin. The other step that I highly recommend at night is to use a lip scrub and then a lip balm. I have been trying this new one from Buxom. And as you can see, it has a scrub at the top. And I just put this on my lips. Exfoliate. Kind of leaves a little bit of a white cast on your lips too. And then I've been using for a long time the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one's in the grapefruit flavor. And I just put a thick amount of that on my lips and then I'm ready to go to bed. So I love this routine. Again, you do not need to have all these steps. My recommendations, I am a big fan of the double cleanse, whatever double cleanse you wanna use. Um, I'm also a big fan of using essences and toners. If you have dry skin in particular, you don't need to use all three of these, but um, I would do something to hydrate that skin, keep it really nice and plump. And then I am a big fan of the of doing the every other night of a, retin, a retinol, this is a prescription one, and then doing an acid. And this product I have been enjoying quite a bit. 
Um, and then some sort of pigment inhibitor if you have pigmentation on your face. This one's nice, but there's others out there. I love this antioxidant. I would highly recommend adding an antioxidant into your skincare routine at night just to help your skin to rebuild and to re-nourish itself. Um, I have been enjoying this probiotic, but I don't know for sure if it will continue to stay. This combo will forever be in my routine to help my moisture barrier. I absolutely love it. And then I am loving this moisturizer and I highly recommend it. It's a great, great price. And then don't forget your lips. You really do need to take care of your lips as well. I hope this was helpful and I hope you learned a little bit. Again, let me know what if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video.